six completely new shapes, completely new developed. We introduced the Triwave last year for the first time and have spent a lot of time making prototypes, shaping boards and uh, trying different concepts, directions. This is the result of it. The boards are quite a bit shorter than before and quite a bit wider. Six sizes, as I said before, from 69 all the way to 103 liters. All, as the name says, with the thruster fin setup that you can actually change for a single fin setup. You can use these box covers, take the side fins out, put maybe a bigger single fin in and use it as a single fin as well if you want. The shape features of these new boards, as I just said, quite a bit shorter, wider. We have a flat deck section here that pulls the volume out nicely, a little bit towards the rail and then the rail drops. A very nice and even volume distribution from nose all the way to the tail. With nice and thinned out rails here that lets you really push the rail into the wave. On the bottom shape you can see the slight double concave here. Uh, in the old days we used to have extreme V's in wave boards. We went away a little bit from that to get the crispiness. We felt once we reduced the V the board feels a lot crisper and with the double concaves we get a lot of projection and speed on the board. This in combination with a very slight rocker throughout the tail section and a little higher entry around here the board doesn't feel sticky, uh, gets on the plane quickly and turns very nicely. Uh, yeah we've been testing the, basically the tri-waves through the whole season on uh, different events we had also for each event we took new prototypes you sent us and uh, we were also competing on the first uh, prototypes already in the World Cup Tour. Our World Cup Tour is really, um, I'd say, one-sided cross onshore conditions. The ideal conditions for a board like the Triwave and uh, we wanted to have a fast board, a board that goes really easy on the plane and a board that still makes a snappy turn. Um, so we are actually able to even compete on those boards, um, even in a place like Silt or Denmark. And um, so this what we've been working on throughout the whole season. And this is the result. And um, I must say I'm stoked with the result. Uh, the boards are much faster. They are much coming out of the water much more than uh, last year's version. They're even much more snappy on the wave. Yeah, these, these boards are going to be perfect for the tour this year as we have six events, most of them in onshore conditions. Just one in Chile is gonna be more sideshore, but that's why we have the quad. And yeah, I'm really impressed, and I think Sebastian and Klaas, all the guys who test the boards, did a really good job. So yeah, my planning at Hokipa was, was great. I was really amazed with the board. Uh, planning fast in Hokipa is really important with a lot of guys next to you to catch the most wave out of it. And yeah, it's, it's fantastic. All the 2014 quads, triwaves and freewave team editions come with a high performance carbon and negra layup that we introduced last year. But in the production process we optimize the use of materials for 2014, especially in the finishing of the boards together with a graphic agency. Um, we came up with a design that is much more weight optimized than last year and uh, saves us a couple of hundred grams per size. For all the free waves, freestyle boards and wave boards we also introduce a new foot pad which has an integrated heel bumper and has a very comfortable and grippy texture. Nick, you as a retired professional, uh, I'm sure you can appreciate the features that Victor just described. You don't have to work so hard to get the board going. What were your impressions when you actually sailed it? Well, for me, uh, it's actually a board in the existing range that I sail most of the time. So the sailing we do is onshore or cross shore, a bit bumpy, not consistent. Um, and what the triway brings to that, I think, is you know the sort of speed feeling that you have. You know, you can drive off the fins. Great for jumping. Great for you know sort of that higher performance bump and jump nearly. Um, but at the same time, on your way in, when you've got a wave, whether it's one foot or five to eight, ten foot. I mean, they, they carry a that they control and handle the bigger surf as well but um, they have the grip they have the drive uh, backside front sides um, yeah i think as an end consumer board it is the ultimate board for me the new board gets planing quicker which like you say when you get to my age that sort of thing is definitely a bonus i don't want to pump too much to get going because you know that means that i'm on the water for less time because i'm going to get tired sooner and, 
um, widen the range as well from obviously the small size all the way to the 103 litre ball, which I think uh, um, I think will be a great seller for us. Yeah, we see a big potential in this. That's why we feature that many models to make sure that everybody really can find the right board for them.